Like I always say, you can't hit a home run unless you swing the bat. That is an actual military trunk. I'm very excited because this, <laughs> you've already profit on the unit. I love gold. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is Saturday morning. I am on my way real quick to shop the flea market, do a quick pick and route, see if I can make any money off of some picking. And then I'm off to pick up this storage unit with Mr. Locker Nuts. We are about to pick up a 17 year stored storage unit. Woman passed away. I have good feelings. I have good, good feelings about this. I smell a YouTuber. Wow, that was the biggest turd bucket of a storage unit. Wow, flea market. That was the biggest turd bucket of a flea market I've been to in a long time. I'm telling you guys, it's getting worse. People don't understand it. I see this going on. Everybody's back to buying storage units or trying. They're going hog wild because of the desperation to make money after quarantine, not understanding that the flea markets are dead. And this is the trend that's gonna transpire. I told, I've been telling everybody, people are not gonna wanna shop. Social distancing is a psychological effect now. People do not wanna come to the market because of Corona. They want to go and buy something online. If you're not running an online business right now, you're going to probably fail. The flea market is on its last legs unless Cure for Corona, come, Cure for Corona comes out and there is no more fear. Um, the economy has not really, I don't think, had the ripple effect that it's truly set in yet. So I'm telling people the best I can, prepare. Prepare heavily. It's why I've been making the moves I have. It's why I've been buying the type of units I've been buying. It's why I've been hoarding all my stuff, saving it. I don't really have like just tons of money to throw around. But I know that things are going to get worse again. They're going to get worse before they get better. So I'm stockpiling for the internet, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. This is proof positive. All my friends out there buying storage units, pay attention, guys. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to this deceased tenant's unit we go. Look who showed up. Oh, what? Isn't, photo Isn't it always a photo moment? I'm watching the premiere. It's all right, you're not too late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and pirates of all ages. We're here, we're about to go through this. You know, are you excited? I am, I yeah. am. We took a little tiny peek the other day, just a little bit. We opened up one box on his, on his channel and we just kind of like went like this, all inside of there standing there going ooh and ah. But anyway, facts on the unit? Branded since 2003, owner likely deceased. And it doesn't look like it's been touched in a long time because the only dust that was disturbed, we did it. So. And at an average of 250, a month rent because this is pretty high after so many years they elevate the rent she's probably paying 400 here towards the end or so over 60,000 a rent paid just keep what is inside of here the treasure we're about to pillage a little smile makes life worthwhile that's pretty cute smile o meter gloomy fair oh it's kind of like the google thumbnail analyzer see that's how we would tell you your thumbnail's a little gloomy it's a little fair it's a little warmer oh yeah that's nice always smooth all right, hand tools. It's older stuff, that's why I, I told you the other day, I felt like it was like, maybe a husband passed away first. Got all his stuff in the storage. All tools, all stocking. What's in here? Oh, imagine that, it's tools. I had a feeling it was tools, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of like the green totes have this tooly feel. It could be something neat, though, like that. What's that? Nope. What's this? Drills. Drill bits. Nice drill bits, though. Very neat. Nice. Guy was in the shop. What's this? Roach routing attachment. It's a cool little bit of money in there. A couple bucks, right? Yeah. What do we got here? Electric security engraver. All right. That looks like at least a $30, $40 tote in my eyes. All right. Nice. Jack, talk around the uh, water cooler at the office. Says this is going to be a good unit. Really? 
I would just know. I thought that'd be funny. Ever see that when people are at the, yeah. like on office space, everybody's at the water jug and they're talking. Yeah. I had just a little. Nice. I wasn't even going to think to film this box. And then I open it up and right away, it's 100% filmable. Look at this, Jack. Jack, what's your favorite word that I can't pronounce right? What's your favorite word I can't pronounce right? He's ignoring me, ladies and gentlemen. He shows up late. And... Ooh, look at that. Okay. Jack, what's your favorite word I can't pronounce right? Favorite word, uh, ephemera. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. It's a whole bunch of it. Just These are um, probably mainly portraits, so I can't just open up each one of them right now like that. But that's still cool. This is a... Uh, Apple a day keeps the doctor away. This is Tyler. Hey, how you doing? Mike. Mike, Mike nice to meet you. Um, yeah, look, a postcard. Look at that. I wonder if that's a Martinez or something. Because that's what all the homes look like, Martinez. Look, like look at this bag. It's all ephemeral. Wow. We went to the beach. We had a dog. Oh, railroad scene. Look at that. Oh, a cable car. Oh, we Dude, had a baby. This is. Oh, we went to the beach. First palm tree in California. Pier 39 when it was first built. I'm just kidding. I really don't know the answer to that. That's a nice one. Some good photos here, Jack. Um, I'm 99.9% .9 sure she's no longer with us. Look at this. This is nice stuff. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, old black and whites, old paperwork. Like this is this is turn of the century, a eighteen hundred. Like this one's kind of we just give that back. That's recent family photos. When I buy storage units, this is literally one of the things I'm looking for. Not necessarily because it's necessarily what I want to sell, but it's the psychology of the storage units that I, I hunt. The things that I'm looking for. The million dollar treasure, the retirement piece, the Picasso, the 420 gold coins, all the things that I seek. It's stuff like this that I'm looking for to find because it goes with the psychology of what I'm seeking. I profile... The person I think owns this storage unit. That's what I do when I look at a storage unit. I don't look at the uh, the box sitting in the front, how much the dresser is, et cetera, et cetera. I put myself in the person's shoes and I try to figure out what it is they had or did. Did you say this is not bad? Yeah, but it's got worms or something in it. Yeah. You know, it's weird though. Like, is it, like this is a type of situation where like, I'm going to say it's like 10 to 15 bucks, but then a lot of people are going to go and uh, comments and different areas have different prices. Like people keep telling me in their state, which is like, it seems like East Coast or almost the East Coast, like a trunk is like 150, 200 bucks where we can't sell one yeah. for like $15. It's hard to give them away. Same with this chair. This Stuff like this is hard to sell around here. I like this part, but. I think it's been sitting on dirt. I think that's why it's all. Would you take it to Alameda? Hmm. They could replace the bottom piece. You know, if there's enough of it there, they pull it off, they trace it out, and they cut a piece to match. Yeah. Put it back on. And, um, but I, don't know. I still see it as no more than 20 bucks for you. Yeah, I like to see seal boxes more. Crystal. 
One thing that's very important when you're trying to track the story is understand how long. Look at it. She rented in 2003, right? Yeah. And this newspaper's 2002 when she packed up. Oh, right. Yes. Well, yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously somebody's been in this unit since it's been here. It's not just sat here. I don't really get intrigued by dishes too often. This is a neat bat right here. I can't, it says RT Ruckapar. So that says, sounds like an old player. A Spalding number 200 autograph. Made in USA, that already tells you right there it's pre 70s. Nice bat though. Like I always say, you can't hit a home run unless you swing the bat. Automotive tools, let's be snap on. Matco, Mac, something great like that. Wow, that does not look like any of those. Sun is all right, but that's old and antiquated stuff. Sears, all right. Still, cool little box though, adds up. And what do we have in here? All right, those look kind of cool. I don't know what animal they are from, but they are from an animal. That's definitely real. What do they think it's a sheep? A nice vintage flag. I don't know how many stars that is. Let's see if we can see. So everybody always asks me how many stars they are. That looks like the 450 stars, I think. More vintage paper. Look at all these cups and glasses. I need... <laughs> and dust. Kind of looks like you went to a church Goodwill sale. Look at that, ginger. That's neat. Believe it or not though, this tin is worth a little bit of money. Oh, it's got a tax stamp on it. All of their little, there's like a hundred grand in there. No. Surge, power block, or what kind of. I actually will take the time to look at everything because that's actually a, a neat retro cup. I could see somebody maybe liking that. No. What was in here? Come on, million dollars. Oh, yeah. Prices when you need them. More vintage stuff like that. We got an interesting rug. A scratch pad. Whew. Look at that. Matthew something St. John's Church. It's the Bible, but it is old. Well over 100 years old right there. A prayer book. Not good crystal. I'm just like, don't want to touch this thing. What do you think this is? Sheep? Yeah. Lamb? I think sheep. Sheepskin. What's that worth? Uh, if it was in good condition, it would probably be like 25, 30 bucks. Is this Alameda auction? They will not pay, pay anything for it in uh, Stockton. No. Alameda, they might. I already showed these there. They're old 7 up boxes. Those will go to Alameda. This commercial break. Is brought to you by the spider in the Lord of the Rings and like I think part number two where that big old spider tried to kill Frodo. Whoo, dang. And back to our regularly scheduled program. We are here with the box brought to you by Small Hand Tools. Not to be confused with Big Hand Tools. That's not bad. A chisel set. Okay, so we've solved one puzzle. This says Taylor, so the bat belonged to him. Maybe he had it signed. Still good bat. All right, almost sellable things. Like, we almost stepped up our game in the tool department. Look at this, Jack. You like these things, probably? Yeah. That's nice. Now, that's like a $30, $40 box, maybe. That's good. Ooh. Dowel centers. My favorite thing to do is look into drawers. Hmm. That looks like a piece of silver. Nope, it's wood. My silver's off. This is a nut picking tool. I learned this. They're not dentist tools. Nuts, huh? They're nuts. They're locker nuts. You pick the meat out of locker nuts. These are almost cool. So we got like three little cool. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Yeah. It's a tape box. Yeah. These are almost cool too. If we have more, a good whole lot of those are nice. Are they? 
Crystals? Yeah, people have been asking me. Oh, yeah, crystals are nice. At least one for Ooh, what else oh, is in there? The oh, there's more drawers down there. Look at that. You see that? That's good right there. See that one long bottom drawer that we can't get to? Now I'm not going to be able to stop until I see inside that bottom drawer because I, this is that place where people would hide their silver, their gold, their, yeah. you know, things of that nature. This is good, right? Is it? Yeah. Image writer too? We got a full computer system for us. Is. is what? Band aids? He says band aids. Band aids are good. You know, it's often in a, 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 a bathroom box, though, it could be jewelry. So I just want to make sure you check it often. People leave their jewelry in there, take off their rings and watches at the counter. That's military right there. That's kind of cool. What year? 1942. This is World War II. That's nice, because that makes me hope. World War II stuff? World War II stuff? And it's actually, if you think about it, see, if you look at that trunk, look at this. What's that say right there? Captain, et cetera, et cetera. That is an actual military trunk. Nice. That's a great photo album or a postcard album. What do you think, Jack? I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing, too. The only way you're going to see it is if you go to Locker Nuts channel. <laughs> I will let the record show. Remember how I told you that box was boring and I didn't want to look at it no more? <laughs> it was. I was. I saw the cookbooks and everything. I was like, no. Glad we took the time to go through that, Jack. By we, I mean you. All right. That's a cool little box there. This to me is the oddest item in here. It is a brand new Echo Weed Eater. I'm pretty sure it's unused. That's, it's just, it was weird. But I think that is $200 right there. Guys, you're going to have to go to Locker Nuts' channel again to see this amazing finest on the top of this. But look what else we got to go through. He just went to the bathroom. Oh, no, he didn't go to the bathroom. He went to the e-waste place and get drinks so we can then go to the bathroom. But I'm going to pick one or two of these right here while he's gone. I'm going to do some filming. I'm very excited because this... <laughs> Look, I'm just going to give you... If you if you know your things, you can just see things. I'm going to do one of these three boxes right now. So I'm going to pick, like I always do, any mini, any mini, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. We're going through that one. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, come on. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. First off, we got this lady. She's like, hey, what up? Then we got Treasure Island, San Francisco, 1940. Look at that. That is nice. Oh, please be gold. Please be gold. Does that say 14 carat on it? Can you can you help me with that? Just look on the back of that. I think that says 14 carat. What's the word before it? I'm hoping your eyes are better than mine. It's, it just says like the name of like sparkler or something, huh? It says it's KR 14K. This right here <laughs> is literally. I think that's the name of it, Kressler or something. That is like twenty-five grams of fourteen carat. Twenty-five times twenty-five is five hundred or a thousand. Twenty-five. Why is my math so bad? And that's that's five hundred. That's over five hundred right there in gold. I think five hundred or so. Oh yeah, there's another marking right there. Fourteen carat. 25 times 25 should be. I, 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 my brain always draws blanks so when I'm here looking at this stuff and I'm. Oh, wow. I'm shaking 625. it. 625. See, I was way off. I was trying to do. I do math weird. Like, I, I go 50. I know 50 times 20 is automatically 1,000. So my brain tries to do some weird algebraic equation to get to it instead of just doing the math. Because my brain just doesn't know how to function properly. But these are just costume jewelry. I'm still excited though, cause like I'm, I'm kind of shaking cause that's, that pays for the unit almost. <sighs> wow. Wow. This looks like, like a six carat, an antique. It's got filigree work right here. Very handmade. It's a brooch or it's also a necklace pen and it do, does two in one. That is probably gold too though, right there. 150, 200 bucks easily right there. Those two items put the unit in profit right there. I'm shaking. 
because we still got so we still got that drawer this to go through we haven't even got to the bottom drawer in this we don't even know if there's something in the bottom drawer yet jack's gonna like uh he's gonna pee himself when he comes back and i show him i can't wait to see like the look on his face oh yes <laughs> oh yes come on be something good Ooh. oh yes you know what that is so what it's a, it's smashed, but it's yeah. a 14 karat ring, probably about nine grams, eight and a half. Costume, but still cute. This is nice. This looks like it's gold too. Wow. The one thing that's hard about this chest cam. Oh, medical maple leaf. It's like you try to watch through the camera and it's hard to move your hands properly. This watch right here. Ooh, let's pop that bad boy open right now. Okay. My trusty my trusty handy dandy knife. Oh, it doesn't. It's a... There we go. Come on. Scepter. It doesn't say gold on it though. It doesn't say 14 karat. It doesn't say it's not. So this needs to be tested because it sure looks like it. Nice. But it's an Elgin National Watch Company. I don't see any jewels in it though. No jewels. Still neat. That's a that's a nice find right there. We're getting up there. Okay. Costume. No, is that costume? This might be silver or gold, actually. I have to take a look. It says 14 karat, doesn't it? Let me see. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting excited. I don't know what this is, but it still looks cool, too. Yeah, this is 14. That's a, that's a trip. That's a cute little belt buckle. These are nice right here. These are like... 1920s looking is there a pair of them no a boat that's kind of neat too oh i'm i'm just juiced right now oh that was kind of cool almost it could be a, a ruby right there i'm taking my sweet time in this because this could just be everything is oh I thought that was Jade. That's a good that's a good little score. I say we do something else. Let's do one more thing. I, I, I it's kind of weird because you see, look at this. It looks like somebody's been through. Look, that one looks kind of open. Uh, which one would you do? The white one or the brown one? I'll go with the brown one. You do the brown one? Alright. Raffy looking, but still gotta. Oh, oh yes. Is that Dumbo and Jade? That looks like some quality. I says China, so they, this is pre-virus, so we're good there. Cultured pearl. I can't tell. I don't think that's silver, but it sure looks close to it. It's like a silver plated, but that's a real pearl there. Pearls aren't as valuable as they used to be. There's a point in life when pearls are very valuable. This one pops off. Please be 14 karat. Uh, it says warranted 14 karat. So I don't remember if that is plated or if it's solid gold. Because what throws me off is that little bit of green. But that could be from something touching up against it. This is a American Waltham pocket watch. Railroad pocket watch gold pocket watch Ugh. It, it's it believes to be i think um my help a sidekick here just now told me that it is what'd you say it was a layer layer it's heavy layered i think i think it's like quadruple plate or double plated but look at that that's do you know why you want trunks with the upwards like that no. they're good luck when they're up when they're down they're bad luck 
Oh, please be gold or silver. I could use a little more. No, it's costume. They like lips. That's kind of sweet. This is sterling silver right here. That is super nice. That is over a hundred year old. It almost like I said it's 14K there and not sterling, but it's not because of the color of it. This is a, turning out to be a really good locker, just this one drawer. You can almost throw the whole rest of the unit away. Mm. All right, that's cool. I guess I'm gonna call it a wrap on this video, guys. I can tell you right here, we've already profit on the unit. This year, this year is 14, this is 14, this is 14. This puts us deep into profit after expenses and everything. This is some type of gold here, that's 150, roughly. All sorts of trinkets, and we got the rest to go. I'll get to that in the next video, if not, Locker Nuts will. So much more to do. Don't forget the like button, share button, subscribe, and say something pretty like, I love gold!